everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install plugins on your paper server in Minecraft 1.14.4. You've got an awesome new efficient paper server set up and running, but what do you do for adding plugins to it? Well, we're going to go through every single step of that in this video. First and foremost, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown of XYZ slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected paper server for you and your friends to play on, or really for anyone to play on. Apex servers are meant to be public. Go ahead to the breakdown of XYZ slash Apex to get an incredible server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much, we host our own server on them, playdownbreakdowncraft.com. So now let's go get a server at Apex, all the links in the description down below. But let's go ahead and jump right on in to getting plugins installed on your server. Now I'm assuming you've already got a server set up. We have an in-depth tutorial on starting a paper server, getting it set up on your computer, allowing your friends to join it via port forwarding. It is all covered in that video. So you can go check that out at the eye at the top of your screen right now. And if you don't have a paper server set up, set one up using that video. Then come back to this video, which is linked at the end of that video, to show you how to add plugins to it. Now first and foremost, you might be like, Nick, you're on a page right now that says bucket and spigot plugins. I thought this was a paper server. Well, any bucket and spigot plugins will work on a paper server. So that is something to keep in mind. If you find a cool plugin, you're like, it doesn't say it's for paper. You can't find any plugins saying they're for paper. That's because very few plugins mention paper at all. All spigot and all bucket plugins are compatible for paper. There are a few exceptions out there, but you'll never use those plugins. 99.9% .9 of plugins work on spigot bucket and work on paper as well. So that is what you want and uh, that's what you need to know. That's why if you go to the description of this video, you'll find this list. This is our list of the top five best plugins for Minecraft servers. And um, guess what? We have to test them all for 114.4. So you're starting a 114.4 server and guess what? All these do work on 114.4. I said guess what too much. Anyway, long story short, this video will be updating in the next few days and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So for this video, I always like to download Essentials because well, it's Essential. We'll do World Edit, World Guard, and let's do something a little different this time. Let's do, um, I don't know, you want to do MCMMO? Let's do, let's do Clear Lack. Clear Lack's an interesting one. So Essentials here, as you can see, 114, click Download Now. World edit. We want to click on file here. Confirm we're downloading the 114 version. Right there it is. Now, one thing I will say is the jar files will need to be kept as long as they say the plugin name in them. You're fine to go ahead and keep them. No worries whatsoever. Um, let's go over to Bucket. Latest release from Bucket. There we go. And 114 only. There we go. Download that. Click keep. And then last but not least, clear lag. I don't think ClearLag is officially supporting 114 these days. Oh, it is actually. That's interesting. I thought it was just like unofficially supporting it. But we can go ahead and click download for 114. Keep ClearLag. And there we go. So now we have all of this on our desktop. These may be in your downloads folder. You can find your downloads folder by clicking the Windows icon on the bottom left of your screen. It's in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen. Typing in downloads, right like so. And you have a downloads folder here. You can drag these from your downloads folder to your desktop. Nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and unzip our essentials file just double click on it and pull all the essentials plugins you want i always like to uh just use essentials x you have to have essentials x but then all these are add-ons i typically don't install them all but you know what i'm feeling risky today let's install all of the essentials add-ons most likely you will never need all these um and some of them actually are going to overlap with world guard but that's okay but at this point go ahead and open up your paper server now you should have a plugins folder here if you don't you don't have a paper server so you need to go start a paper server using our tutorial and then you'll have a plugins folder and then take all of your plugins you downloaded and drag them into that plugins folder it really is that easy now we can double click on the run.bat file it'll start things right on up and then plugins here will start to see their files generate as the server is starting i am also going to go ahead and open up minecraft we're going to play latest released 1.14.4 here. As you can see, click on play, and it'll go ahead and launch things right on up. We'll also need to op ourselves. That way we can just use all these plugins, check and see if they're activated in-game, everything like that. So if we wait here, we're going to start to see these plugins activate. There it is, world edits, first one, and then it'll go through and add in all of them until they're all activated. All, like, 12 Essentials plugins. It's actually not 12. How many is it? Seven, six Essentials-based plugins? That's a lot. So it's a lot of plugins there, but as you can see, all of these now have it loaded in. Even Essentials GOIP got its own separate folder. Did not know that. Have never used that plugin before in my life. Oh, look at that. Play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the universe. We have custom survival, custom skyblock. There's 121 people online right now, and it is 4.19 in the morning. Yes, I'm recording at 4 a.m., but nevertheless, 121 people on the server at 4 a.m., over 300 players online at peak hours. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now, at this point, we can go ahead, and I'm just going to direct connect to this server. I'm also going to opt myself by typing OP and then my username over here in the console. I don't know which account I'm on, so I'm just going to opt both my accounts. Oh, 
little bit of a was typing in the console there. Oh man. There we go. So we made both my accounts an op. And now once we're here, we can just do slash PL to see what plugins are installed. So we have clear lag, essentials, essentials anti-build, essentials chat, essentials GOIP, essentials protect, essentials spawn, world edit, world guard. Now essentials is installed because we got welcome to the game. We also got our welcome kit here. Another way is to just do, I think you can do slash essentials and no, it doesn't seem like it's want to be. You can do like essentials reload and that just shows you the version of essentials there. Something else you can do slash GMC and that'll allow you to go into creative without having to type slash game mode space creative very, very quickly and easily using essentials. Something else, let's do world edit slash slash wand is a uh, fun little world edit command. And then we'll just, I don't know, I always like to do something like do that and then slash slash set diamond block. Boom, there we go. <laughs> and then world guard is installed. We can then set that as a region. So we can do slash region, um, create, test for example and new region test has been created so yeah i mean i think at that point we've kind of proven everything is installed clear lag is also installed slash lag there we'll be able to see all of the clear lag commands and then we can run like a lag check to be able to see what our tps is 19.98 i would hope so considering there's no one on this server and it just literally started up so yeah anyway there you have it that is how you can install plugins on a paper server in minecraft 1.14.4 this is the exact same process pretty much as a bucket and spigot server the only thing that i wanted to mention and the reason this video is important to make i think is because you're not going to find paper plugins out there you need to know that plugins for spigot and paper are compatible or sorry plugins for spigot and bucket are compatible with paper pretty much 100 percent without any issues also everybody always wants to know the seed of worlds so there's the seed of the world. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content on Minecraft servers, Minecraft mods. We do live streams every single weekend. So yeah, you absolutely love it. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Come play with us on playdartbreakdowncraft.com. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.